this is our uh, our shed that we built uh, to protect the mill, and so we can work on uh, wet days or stormy days. But uh, a lot of people have asked me why I designed it the way I did. Most people put their logs in on the operator side, but I I thought that given our layout here and and, and the way I want to operate, uh, it would be more convenient if I left the operator side for bringing lumber and stuff out this way or big timbers out on my rollers this way where I can put my trailer right here and use my loader to put them on and leave the other side for bringing my logs in. So I put my log ramps on the non-operator side and uh, I actually had uh, Ron, uh, uh, the guy that does my trucking, uh, help me design these and uh, we actually copied uh, from the guys in Advocate that have a, a similar mill so anyway, I'll show you uh, how we how we put our logs on from our log deck. So we have uh, we have these little fold down ramps that go right onto the track, and I put that little piece of wood there so I don't damage my tracks because the logs are pretty heavy, and you don't want to slam these down on them either. So we just put a little groove in the wood with power saw. That protects the tracks, so we don't bend or dent the tracks. I'm going to use a can hook. We have these perfectly level with the bunks. The height of this and the height of the bunk is perfectly level. I'll see if we can put one on here and show you what we do. So these uh, these beams came from an old bridge, and uh, the guy that built it, he, he kind of salvaged them and, and had them kicking around and when I asked him about helping me make a set of ramps, uh, he came up with this idea and uh, he made that, the little fold down parts and uh, really great for me, I can put 10 or 15 logs on this deck. I use my log loader, which is uh, you know the trailer on the back of my tractor with a boom and I can put the logs on from the side and I don't have to come anywhere near my mill so there's no danger of damaging the tracks or the mill shed or anything like that. A lot of people use their machines to drop the logs onto the log deck, onto the uh, onto the uh, rails. I don't think that's in, in the end going to be would, would be a very good ending because after a while you're going to damage something. This way here, everything is rolled on and there's no you know there's no real chance for damage. Anyway. Um, this isn't a particularly nice log, but we'll we'll put it on and show you what we do. See, you don't even need the PV because everything's level here and when you have good round logs like this. If you have a bigger log, I use a, a, a longer handled PV, but this one is great for this. It's just a little can hook. After I get it on, pull the log stops up so it can't come back off on me. I leave my log dogs up until after I have the log on and then I dog it in place when I'm ready. I have to remember to put these back up so the milk can run by. That's the story of our log deck. So the first thing we did when we, uh, after we bought the mill and started putting it together, was we uh, got a contractor to put a really good concrete slab down. I know a lot of people just uh, do their work right on the ground and and uh, level up with blocks, or the guys on the wheels they just use their jacks to level up. But I wanted to be able to remove the sawdust because a lot of sawdust uh, around with these chips, sawdust, bark, and I found with. Uh, guys that have them just on the ground it's hard to remove your stuff you can't sweep it this here we sweep it all the time and when we're milling and uh, we have a place where we can dump the sawdust I have a front end loader with a tractor where when we sweep it out there we can just pick it up and you can see there's a little bit of sawdust around but it makes a lot better working conditions I find uh, so that's what the main reason why we built the concrete slab and we wanted the building to be permanent and sturdy so we have those posts embedded in the concrete so the, the building itself isn't going anywhere. Yeah, so if, uh, if there's anything about my mill shelter that you're interested in, I have diagrams of what we didn't make a blueprint, but I had diagrams with measurements and uh, 
if you uh, if you are interested in anything like that and you want to find out more uh, just put a comment below and I can message you